Welcome back, everyone, to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy V, The Four Job Fiesta. Last episode, Angels and his companions uh, entered the void. They did a little bit of uh, exploring in the void, but they turned back because uh, they need to save their game and rest up. So now they're going to actually head into the void. They're going to uh, find a save point in there. Uh, they didn't go after that save point because it's uh, pretty long and uh, can be a potentially tricky boss. So. We're gonna finish exploring the, the void, get that save point, and uh, get most of the treasure chests in the void. They were going to skip one of the treasure chests because that treasure chest is guarded by the other optional super boss, Shin Ryu. So we'll probably make a save, and then we'll uh, set ourselves up, because like with Omega, we're gonna wanna uh, set ourselves up a certain way to be able to deal with that uh, super boss. So, let's head on back into the void. Get some more uh, ability points and the rest of the monsters that we haven't encountered uh, yet in the, the bestie area. So we already cleared out the first two floors. Uh, third floor is where we're going to find that save point. Uh, well, the third floor is where we're going to find the treasure chest uh, that we don't want to get. And then the fourth floor is where we're going to have that treasure chest. Luckily, though, all the floors are really small and tiny. So uh, there's not much, uh, you know, to explore. Uh, speaking of small and tiny, one of the enemies is really difficult to uh, run into, the mover enemy. Uh, they're like these three little red spheres, uh, but they give like the most AP uh, out of anybody. They give 199 AP if you defeat them all. Good thing is, they are undead, so you can use the Requiem Song to uh, defeat them all at the same time. The problem with them is uh, they like to revive each other, like the gargoyles, uh, so... We pretty much have to defeat them all at the same time, but hey, we got the singing for that. So that treasure chest over there, that is the one with uh, Shin Ryu in it. So, uh, you can actually run away from Shin Ryu. Uh, so uh, that's one little blessing, but we're not even going to tempt fate and uh, uh, even attempt to like open that treasure chest. We're going to make our save first. So here we got some mind mages. Uh, they can be kind of annoying. They use this brain suck on you. Uh, that I think lowers your stats and takes... and. Uh, Put you in the sap condition. They can be charmed pretty uh, easily, uh, but the biggest problem with them is uh, when they're uh, they're charmed, they uh, they don't do a lot of damage when they hit themselves. So charm ain't super duper effective, but better that they hit themselves for small damage than hit us for uh, a little bit of damage. Yeah, they got that evil blaster spell, but it never works on them. So they seem to have a nice resistance to instant death. A bunch of not too damaging spells, but they're still annoying. Especially when they hit you with that brain sap, because uh, that puts you in the, uh, the the sap condition, the brain thing there. So you're constantly losing hit points. So, whoop, nope, no, none of the instant death is working, so yeah, Barrage just Slash is kind of pointless. But we'll probably have to take that ability off her soon anyway. Now you see Lena, she'll be losing hit points over and over uh, as time ticks down thanks to that Mind Blast. So, yes, there it is, go. We'll be using up most of our potions to heal up here. So, but of all the enemies, I think these guys are probably uh, some of the easiest. Uh, they don't hit really hard like the Crystal Dragons or the King Behemoths. Uh, they can be annoying if they come with this other uh, group of enemies, though, so... They tend not to come by themselves. Uh, this is a rare formation to have for them. But... He took care of them. So... They usually come with this other enemy, uh... The... Uh, Necromancer. Which, uh, turns you into undead. Hits you with, like, a zombie spell. That's something you can almost use, uh... Uh... If we wanted to, that's one way we might might be able to cheese uh, Shin Ryu. Is if we get one of our characters, preferably whoever the bard is with the dragon harp, and then have them turn into a zombie, and then uh, have everybody else hide. Uh, the zombie will have only target will be Shin Ryu, and they'll just attack Shin Ryu. Even though Shin Ryu hits really hard, has a bunch of uh, spells, they won't do any damage to the zombie because uh, the zombie's undead. 
this green uh, glowing orb over here. That's our final save point. We have to talk with it, though. This light, I won't let you have it. It's like the Apocalypse guy, this uh, bat monster guy comes out. He is invulnerable right now until we defeat his four barriers. He tells us that right now. With these four barriers, I am now invincible. So if you try to target him, uh, you'll miss him. It's just like how we threw that uh, GP at him. It didn't hit in it didn't hit him, it just hit the four barriers. Now the barriers they basically will bounce off really strong spells off of each other. Uh, so you can't target them with magic. Uh, they're already built in wall. Uh, they'll start bouncing like flare, holy, bio, level three elemental spells. So uh, pretty pretty dangerous. Uh, obviously once you start taking them out, we'll get a little bit easier. But you just gotta hope that you're lucky these first few turns, and that they, uh... Basically all their spells don't hit the same person. Because if two of them hit, then, you know, you're pretty much that person's gonna be, uh, you know, defeated. So... We got kind of lucky that it's... Everyone got a new target so far. I thought that was gonna be Kara, but nope. And let's see, hopefully this doesn't... No, it doesn't. It's gonna hit angels. Darn. Yeah, it's now gonna have to waste time bringing everybody back. Uh, so, oh no, Angel survived surprisingly. Nice. And they're gonna be the uh, main form. Uh, Angels and Lena taking out the barriers. Now the only problem is now these two barriers in the back, they are uh, they are uh, considered back row because uh, Necrophobia is in front of them. So we're gonna do less damage to them. We might want to keep throwing the gold at them, but. I want to save money uh, for like the final boss. It'll be really useful against him. So, you want know, to start taking down uh, each uh, barrier. It's not as bad because uh, now there's only one one uh, taking a turn. So, yeah, just concentrate on one at a time, and it'll get these a little bit easier. And then uh, once we uh, take care of uh, the barriers, then uh, Necrophobe will become. Uh, a vulnerable, but the good thing about Necrophobe is he is um, vulnerable to every single magic. He takes extra damage from all magics. So uh, that Holy Sword, the Excalibur, that Angel swings is going to take off a lot of damage. Probably going to max out uh, damage on uh, him. So yeah, see, he's weak to all. My Invincible Barrier. So no wonder he needed an Invincible Barrier. Yeah, I have no choice. Have a taste of my real power. Well, Flash is not his real power, but it is an annoying spell because it blinds our characters, and we want, we want Angels, obviously, to not be uh, missing hits, because it'll take off like 9,999. So let's make, pull out our eye drops and put eye drops on our folks. Now this battle, uh, you will actually defeat Necrophobia. Uh, we'll get him down to a certain amount of hit points, and then our good buddy Gilgamesh is going to make another appearance. So, we'll have a little, like, uh, cutscene and a little, uh, farewell to Gilgamesh, and Gilgamesh will take this guy out for us. So this, of course, wouldn't happen if we didn't, you know, fight Gilgamesh in, uh, ex in the second castle, in excess, uh, second castle in the second world, uh, because, uh, he would have never been, uh, banished to the cleft of dimension. So, this is the final place, too, where Gilgamesh appears, and even though he ain't an enemy, uh, you can steal off of him. This is the place where you would get the Genji armor, the final piece of Genji equipment. Which is a really, really strong armor. Once Gilgamesh appears, the, the battle is over, because Necrophobia is no longer going to attack you, he's just going to focus on Gilgamesh, and they're just going to take each other out. We don't know Gilgamesh's stats, but like I said, you can steal the last piece of Genji equipment off of him, so... He basically says, hey, I, I can't go home now, like, history will think that I'm a coward. And he can't do that, so... Yeah, don't want to be uh, seen as a weakling, so he's going to come back and help us out here, and he'll, take us, he'll help us out by taking care of this final uh, minion here, Necrophobia. See, so yeah, Necrophobia says, hey, I'm going to get rid of you, and so now those two are going to fight each other. Which gives us plenty of time to... You know, uh, get everybody back on their feet. We can get Faris back up and uh, just 
cast the Vitality Song to uh, get some hit points back. You'll mess up some I know some stuff, Kara, your grandfather. He was a strong man. And all characters will like have little uh, things to say back, Grandpa. Even Faris will say something, even though she's knocked out now. Faris! Go fall in love. Then you'll be more feminine. She's just speechless with that. Oop. Give him a heal himself up there. Getting ready to take on Necrophobia. Yes, he's just uh, gonna target Gilgamesh. So we don't have to do anything here. Like I said, we'll just heal ourselves up. We can alter our uh, things a little bit here. Shifting things around a little bit here. Give us something to do on that uh, while we're waiting for this stuff to happen. Yeah, a lot of this stuff we're gonna end up selling. Uh, because we want as much money as possible for the final boss, so we can throw it at him. Money, the solution to all of life's problems. Lena! Nothing can't solve without throwing money at it. Well, that's not true, but... Lena never forgets your love for animals. She's also speechless. Angels! Animals, if you love animals, small angels rescue is a great rescue that helps little animals, little small animals like hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, mice, rats. So if you haven't contributed to them, make sure you do a little contribution. Damn, my daddy will be making one pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I was a rescue rat too, with me and my brother Bob. Yep, and our sister Guinevere. Yep. I came from St. Nicholas Mouse Rescue. Mm -hmm. Daddy gives to them uh, every year. So he hasn't played the fiesta for them. He plays it for different rescues, so. Uh, yeah. So Gilgamesh finishes him off with the Exploder spell. And uh, Gilgamesh will make appearances in future Final Fantasies. And I think they said that uh, in canon it's the same Gilgamesh. He just travels around dimensions. I guess when he died in the void here. He was resurrected and got to travel between dimensions. I don't know, but he's usually around. He's usually a, like a, he's either a summoner or like a mini boss. And he's like collecting weapons, kind of like how he was doing here. He was trying to collect uh, the Excalibur sword, but he got the Excalibur sword. So, all right, so I'm gonna save my game here. And we got a lot of enemies, we, well, not too many, but we have a few more enemies. And I cut out a lot. Um, of things. It took me about half an hour to find those mover enemies, I said, because they're, they're so tiny, they're really tough to find. I actually ended up maxing out on uh, Kara, getting her uh, Red Mage Master. So, uh, I'll basically leave here with basically only uh, angels needing to master the Red Mage. So there's the Necromancer, the new one. Uh, does that annoying zombie powder, which uh, turns an uh, enemy into, or well, turns your character into a zombie. We can set that up for the Shinrayu battle, but we're going to fight him a different way. Those um, things at the bottom there, that's what's called the thing, it looks like the crystal, they are really, really weak. They only have three hit points, but they have pretty good evasion. They're easily charmed, though, uh, and uh, when they're charmed, they tend to confer a lot of helpful statuses on your characters. So They'll cast, like, armor, float, shell, so it's a good thing to maybe get them... Uh, before boss battles, you maybe get them charmed, they have all those uh, abilities. It'd be nice if we were fought them earlier and had them access the float command, uh, get stuff like Omega, but yeah, they only have uh, three things. We're gonna need to buy a Crystal Helm back in Mirage. Hopefully we get lucky and one, one thing will drop it, but let's see if we can buy a little bit of stuff, but sometimes the things also, uh, it seems like when a thing is charmed, uh, or an enemy, any type of enemy is charmed, no matter how good their evasion is, uh, they're able to hit themselves all the time. So... Yeah, charm the thing, they, they'll be able to uh, hit themselves. So, sometimes. Hopefully they don't do that until they, uh, whatchamacallit, until they, uh, confer all those good bonus statuses on you. 
got the thing. Laugh surprisingly, he did miss. He had to miss a lot. I wonder if that's a uh, byproduct of the uh, double hand, the double grip. I don't know, it seems like they, people miss a lot when they have the double grip on. I don't know the actual mechanics though, if that's true. So like I said, now it takes about half an hour before I find these movers. So I just cut out all those battles. And you'll see Kara has a lot of uh, AP and almost massive things. So here's the movers. The good thing about them is, like I said, they are undead, so we can all have the Requiem song sing. So while I was waiting to farm these guys, I uh, gave uh, everybody the sing command. This thing's so fast that I was going to take, uh, like, Angels hit the one in the front, and I was going to have everybody hit, uh, like, and now next time Angel will go and hit the one in the, uh, in the back. You know, to try to keep on uh, all at the same time. Try to keep everyone on uh, a week at week at the same time. Uh, we're getting uh, pretty close to being finished off here. Probably like two more songs. And then we do it. They're also, uh, like I said, weak to fire, so if you had like fire three, you could hit them with a fire three spell. Um, boost it with like an elemental rod or the wizard wand. But we'll just sing them to death. We take him out and look at all that gold and AP we get. And Kara finally masters the Red Mage job. So now only Angels has to do that. So we'll set our characters up into most of the jobs that are going to be. This is how they're going to be in their, their final jobs positions. Uh, Angels will be the Samurai. Uh, Faris is the Knight. Lenny is the Bard. And Kara will be the Red Mage. So. But uh, we'll start mastering uh, Red Mage. We'll get some AP from... Uh, Shinrai when we fight him in the next episode and then like I said we're going to leave here and we're going to uh, head back and sell a bunch of stuff and get a we didn't get a, uh, a crystal helmet from any of those things so we're going to have to buy another crystal helmet and uh, then we'll uh, sell a bunch of this stuff and make another trip through but I'll just meet you back here at this final save point uh, and of course during that trip I'll probably end up, uh, you know, maxing out uh, Angels, because he doesn't have that much further to go to master the Red Mage job. He's more than halfway there, and he's going to get 100 uh, AP uh, from Shinrayu. So that'll put him almost at like two-thirds of the way there. And we got quite a few, uh, you know, you saw how large the uh, cleft of dimension was, so we'll have definitely enough time to uh, master that job here. So. We're kind of setting up for Shinrayu here, although the setup will change a little bit. Um, Shinrayu will always open up with uh, 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 a tidal wave attack. And uh, unless you have coral wings, it's going to wipe you out. But there's another way that we can avoid that uh, coral attack uh, if we give uh, angels a certain ability. So we'll see that when we... Uh, yeah, it's a good thing we have to save here because I can save the game and then, uh, you know, if the strat against Shinrayu doesn't work, I can just start a new one. So we'll see what strategy does work against Shinrayu in the next episode. See you then. Bye.